Okay, so we've allowed the um, white glue and the silicone to set up, and I just want to show you that the fur connects here, and you don't see a big hole in a gap. And you also want to look here to make sure that they're touching, so you don't have a hole where you attach this piece to the here, but you do want to have the illusion that this is indented right here. So to do that, you just have to make sure everything touches and then pull up where you want it to have the opening. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about on animals, you put the ears on first, generally, you build the forehead, which this forehead is really not that big, and then you work your cheeks up to the eye. So you build this to here, the cheek to here, and this cheek, and then you come on with the bridge. So let me give you an example on a wolf because it's more defined. Here, as you can see, the furthest thing back is the ears. So the ears have been done first. And then you start taking your layers and working your way from here down around the eye like this, like I was just saying, and you work the forehead. And then you come back and you start here and you work your cheek all the way up to the eye here. And then you would do the same thing on this side and work it here. And then you'll seem like you have this big old hole for the bridge. But I'm gonna use the rabbit's bridge just to show you, um, even though I don't want this, that you would actually use this to build this part up and this would cover, if you were doing the wolf, all these pieces on both sides. So while the rabbit, you don't have the forehead and the head is defined, I wanted to show you that concept because now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the cheeks to here and this cheek to here and I've actually overcut here so that I can cover a little bit here. And what you're gonna do at the end, after we get both of this done, if you need any more filler, you'll just add a few places here. Unlike the wolf, you on this particular wolf, it really did have a higher forehead. So this one right here, we don't have to do it exactly like you did this one. But I wanna give you the, the, um, the technique on how you actually would do the ear, because it's furthest to the back, forehead, cheeks, and then the bridge, and then your face would have shape and body. All right, so I'll be back and we'll um, put the cheek on.